Hello people, in this video we want to look at hypersplenism. So basically it is an overactive spleen. So spleen is S-P-L-E-E-N, right? But hypersplenism has only one E, okay? So just focus on that, hypersplenism, overactive spleen. <clears throat> what is spleen, guys? Spleen is basically a peripheral lymphoid organ, okay? It is a peripheral lymphoid organ. Other example of peripheral lymphoid organ is your lymph node. Anyways, spleen is the graveyard of RBCs. After 120 days of life, that is around uh, how many, one, uh, 120 days will be how many months? So, so this RBC, this is red blood cell, it will become weak, right? As it becomes weak, whenever it is going through the uh, spleen, it will keep going. If it is healthy, the spleen will let it get out. But if it is weak and it is old, the spleen will destroy it. So, the spleen is called the graveyard of RBCs. This is the final destination for uh, your uh, uh, RBC, right? So, um, basically what happens in in an overactive spleen, uh, there, it will remove these uh, cells prematurely. Right, it can not only remove RBC, it can try to destroy the platelets and uh, WBCs also, it can destroy them prematurely. You should understand here that what will happen to these people, these people will uh, land up with, these people will land up with what? Pancytopenia, RBCs will be less, WBCs will be less, granulocytes will be less, that is um, your neutrophil, basophil, uh, eosinophil, monocytes, all that will be less. You can have less uh, platelets so they can have bleeding tendencies there will be splenic pooling of the cells right and um, all the cells will be where in the spleen because uh, spleen is the one that is killing them what you should understand in these people is there will be no bone uh, I mean bone marrow is fine which is making all these cells that is fine okay so the pancytopenia that is the less cells is caused because of the spleen and not because of the bone marrow okay so the production is fine the destruction is more right now, why does this happen? This hypersplenism happens because there is altered splenic blood flow. To the spleen, <clears throat> there is increased blood flow or some altered blood flow. So, because of portal hypertension, especially because of alcoholic uh, liver, cirrhosis, etc., there can be uh, portal hypertension. This will result in altered splenic blood flow. When this happens, there will be increased sequestration of blood in the spleen. So, there will be destruction of the blood cells. Okay, the blood is uh, more, right? It is flowing through there more, staying there more. So, spleen is uh, just destroying everything. There could also be spleenomegaly in these people. The spleen could be big. One more thing that you may notice in this is maybe the blood cells are getting attacked by some antibodies and hence they are very weak. Okay, that is something that you have to look at and hence the spleen is removing them possibly. So, you'll have to rule out infection in these people. So, you have understood um, uh, what hypersplenism is. So, in these people, you have to do a CBC. You have to check. Uh, DLC, uh, differential glucose out count. So, blood check basically you will do and also you will check if they have any infection, right, which is causing these antibodies, right. And then what you will do for that, you will have to treat the cause and if uh, required, they may do a splenectomy, okay. That is removing of the spleen. So, this is this. This is what you have looked at in hypersplenism. There is also some other terminology called as hyposplenism. You can see that in sickle cell disease, okay. Anyways, in this video, we are looking at what? We are looking at hypersplenism, overactive spleen. So, we have looked at the uh, what a spleen does. We have looked at um, what hypersplenism is and uh, why it happens and what it leads to and uh, why uh, how to treat it kind of a thing, right? So, you have learned hypersplenism. Yay!